This is the Doctor bringing you the fifth mission of the Grand Campaign 39 for Panzer Corps. This is Camp in Soka Forest, and you can only get this if you win Decisive Victory on Pataic. Uh, so, what I purchased was this nifty level bomber. I changed level bombers in my game, like the basic uh, DO-17Z bomber is now actually uh, somewhat useful and is very cheap. Whereas the uh, HE-111 has superior defenses, both air and ground defense, compared with base game and compared to most subsequent bombers until like the bombers in 1941 and 1942. Uh, but uh, is tends to be slower. There's also the JU-88 which comes in Norway which has much better attack and speed but has uh, somewhat lower defenses. I purchased one of these uh, HE-111 because well they were used a lot during the war. Uh, so for this mission it is actually fairly difficult. Uh, fortunately I have two SE infantry which will make it a lot easier. Uh, the trick with this southern group is that I will send it over the captured airfield and then strike north towards this victory hex, Turksaw, which is the easternmost one, whereas my main group will advance slowly towards uh, the other two victory hexes and fight my way in carefully. Since most of the fighting is done in close terrain, casualties will be proportionally higher which is the main danger. I have to be very careful not to lose any units uh, and uh, because I can't afford really the loss of any unit. I'm still down one core slot by the way. <laughs> so I know there's no AI counterattack coming from self. It's safe to move my units like this. I think this cavalry needs to go to assist the northern group. How should I do this? This is a two range artillery. So this setup allows my troops to attack the anti-tank unit next turn without problems. I want to send this unit up. Actually, let's keep it here. So it is tactically more flexible somewhat. Let's start bombarding. Wow, that did no damage. Hmm. I don't want to move even my mountain troops onto close terrain without some sort of some sort of support. The other thing is, huh? Let's see. Let's move this unit here. Infantry up. Hmm. This is actually kind of tricky to position my units, but we'll do this. Alright, let's continue with the bombardment. initiative on a Stuka? Ugh. That's... See, that Stuka should be converted to a fighter bomber, honestly. We'll see. If I ever get the prestige in the future, that's the way to go, because initiative is otherwise completely useless on a Stuka. Defense is actually reasonably good, and attack, I think, is the best, but initiative... I mean, they have such low initiative, that doesn't matter. They have initiative 1. The initiative 3 won't matter against the allied fighters with, like, 10 initiative. Uh, that can actually hurt you later on. Man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I target? What's up here again? I don't remember. Oh, look! Some more Polish troops. Let's see what he does. So, more troops are moving out to potentially attack me. I don't like that, so let's start working some magic. How do you kill this infantry efficiently? answer is simple. Bombard it once. Uh, 
Okay. Let's force it to retreat onto the river. Let us do this. So if he attacks with the anti-tank gun across the river, that would be a favorable outcome. That took more damage than I expected. So I do not want this unit to withdraw. Send my Stuka back. Hopefully the AI moves in the infantry there and I can kill it uh, without losses. Now part of the question is how do I deal with the northern force? Hmm. Let's let's let it keep moving. There's no reason to push the issue just yet. But I do want my bomber to gain more experience. Uh, the other main reason why I got the bomber this scenario is I'll need it for the next one. It is very critical to have... I mean, really, you should have two strategic bombers, but I don't have the prestige, and at least one is like necessary to even attempt decisive victory without incurring horrendous losses. What should I bombard? Honestly, I don't know. We'll just bombard this. Hmm. We'll move the artillery up, like so. Uh, da, da, da. Let's do something clever. Hopefully this infantry I place here can ambush the AI since it has no spotting on it, but we'll see. We'll see whether this works out or whether this was a horrible mistake because if the infantry moves to attack me, uh, if the Polish infantry moves to attack me, I'll suffer casualties that I don't want to. As for the troops down here, let's continue the advance. So it is imperative I capture that airfield as soon as possible. Let me try to remember how I should do this. Uh, I think it goes like this. Honestly, I don't know whether I need this cavalry, where I need it. Hmm. Let us use the high mobility unit up here for now. Polish fighter. That would be easily dealt with. Let's see what the AI does. Oh, it's a tankette. Perfect. Perfect. Things are lining up extremely for gratuitously for me. So a big part of playing on the higher difficulties is to tempt the AI into making mistakes. This is like, you would imagine a human player would often be able to do better, but People fall for traps all the time in multiplayer too. They get this tendency in their head, they have to attack. If they don't attack, they're wasting their turns. That is not true. In fact, in general, for this game, winning doubt, you should refrain from attacking. At least that's been my personal observation. This unit has an entrenchment of five. That's surprisingly high. There's no rush down here. No need to press the attack too quickly. Uh, okay, let's see. How should we do this? There are so many tricks to killing this tank at. First, first let's hit it with a bomber. Alright, next, I'm pretty sure my anti-tank unit can force it to retreat. But that's kind of da 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 da. Hmm. 
trying to think of the most optimal way of doing this. Okay, I know what to do. Yeah. So, here's a demonstration of advanced tactics and hoping that I get lucky more than anything else. What am I doing? I'm doing this. Okay, that works. Even if it didn't kill it, it would have retreated onto a river, which would make it easy target. Then, how do I kill this infantry quickly? Well, bombard it once. I'm not confident. Let's bombard it again. Yeah, now the odds are quite favorable. Go retreat onto this river hex. But wait! If I attack it, it should retreat down. And now it will be easy to finish off. So that's how you do it efficiently. And I just wiped out the vast majority of the Polish mobile force in a few short turns. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really... Let's use this cavalry to capture some hexes up north, but again, I do not want to advance this infantry here and open it up for counterattack. It's best to proceed more slowly. Let's see. As for this unit, let's just do this. Hmm. Polish tanket. Ambush. That's great. In an ambush, I shoot against its close defense. The decision by the AI to move its infantry out of the city is an interesting one. I would argue it's a mistake. Let us punish the AI for it. Well, actually, that's not clear. Hmm. And, uh, let's force it to face, fight on the hill. My SC infantry has very good initiative. I should be fine. But let's be sure by moving this unit up. Let's see. Three initiatives, negative two. Yeah, that worked out. Well, that thing just refuses to die, doesn't it? Duh. Hmm. I want to capture that, though. We'll do this. Okay, there are some Polish units that can counterattack. I just don't remember where they come from. I think they come from north and some from the east. I'm going to be cautious here and not trust my luck. Hmm. Let me see something. Yeah. So there are a lot of tricks to killing this tankette, but I'm pretty sure it'll die from an outright attack, so so that's that. Uh, the main thing I want to think about is how to kill that Polish infantry quickly. I gotta think about this. Okay, I know what I can try, although this is kind of dangerous. I should be fine. Uh, yeah. Let's hoping this goes well. As long as it retreats, I'm fine. Yes. Sometimes it's better to be lucky. Next. I want to bombard this, force it to withdraw into that forest, if I can. Okay, I definitely can. I want to hit it with 
my level bomber. Then I want to do this. Even if it doesn't die from this attack, it will be forced to retreat self, but it dies. So that's how you force a river crossing with minimal losses. Uh, honestly, the anti-tank unit is not too useful, except against these troop trains, which are actually, they are hard targets. Yeah, they're hard targets. So that's what I'm going to use it for. So this infantry, I like its entrenchment of four. That means I can hit it with artillery repeatedly and kill it in the forest. But let's actually refuel this fighter. A lot more cloudy weather, which actually protects my Stuka. Aww. So no artillery cover. Fortunately, that was an auxiliary unit. I don't care too much about it. And it still opens up the opportunity for me to do some clever stuff. Well. Wow. So that works out. Hmm. That thing has entrenchment of two. Plus the odds are not favorable on the attack. So let's kill the troop train. I'm pretty sure there are no further AI units, so I can do this. Or if there are, there are very few of them. Yeah, I don't have to capture that city in the north. Let me see. Yeah, it'll take too long to get artillery into position, but maybe I can use my level bomber. Let's see. Those are actually pretty good. Sure, why not? this cavalry to capture both hexes. Uh, ta -da. Okay, now I got a forced river crossing. So here's a situation where it's a good idea not to put infantry in close terrain. If I put it in the forest and I get counterattacked, I'll lose a lot of strength, even though I'll inflict a lot of damage. Instead, by putting my infantry in the open, I will avoid uh, taking too much damage, even though I don't inflict much, but that's okay. Let me think. Uh, best to be careful here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I know what to do. I'm probably advancing too cautiously here, but no reason to be crazy. Hmm, where should I use Stuka? I don't want it near the AA battery. We'll put it down here. Along with this fighter bomber. I have plenty of time. There's no reason to capture any of the other hexes. It's kind of dangerous, actually, to move your forces out that region. I think there might be a counterattack. Okay, let's see. This AA battery has entrenchment of three. Perfect. Hmm. Right. Let's do this. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting a complete kill, but that's okay. I want to concentrate my units to take this city. This is a two range artillery. 
That's not so good. Uh, I need a three range artillery down here. Hmm. Hmm. Well. It's actually kind of tricky. Uh, we'll move here. Might as well do that. Alright. Let us hope I do not get counterattacked. How should I do this? I don't actually want to attack AI just yet. I want to lure it out. So I'm not within spotting range of any of its units, but if I get within spotting range by, say, doing... Hmm, I also don't have any real hard attack assets. Let's do something like... This. This should lure the AI out. Don't know where that tank cat will move, but hopefully. And if it doesn't lure the AI out, that's fine too. I can attack it next turn with no danger. So apparently, it doesn't lure the AI out. Not a problem. That tank cat is resisting my efforts vigorously. Now, it should be vulnerable. This unit has an entrenchment of five. Those are not good odds. I can hit it repeatedly with air power in this case. I think there's actually a battery there. Never mind, I'm not going to hit it with air power. We'll just do this methodically. No reason to rush ahead. So, even though the odds appear quite favorable, I am not so short on time that I feel the need to attack. Let's just continue making steady progress. Yeah. You know what I should do? Oh, I have a level bomber. Let's take a peek. Oh, all right. Level bombers only have a spotting range of one. I think there's an infantry in that city. Uh, da -da. Hmm. This is actually kind of tricky. I don't want to risk a counterattack. Uh, maybe I'm being too cautious. But that's how I roll when I have no prestige. Apparently I wasn't even cautious enough. That counterattack. Oh boy, that's not good. Well, okay, so one favorable outcome and one bad outcome. Man, a lot more Polish units than I remembered. Both my auxiliaries are exhausted at this point. All right. There's only one way to deal with this air power and a lot of it. What's the most dangerous? It's actually not clear. Oh boy. This is not good. Most... 
Okay, I know what I have to do. Well, actually, no, that's that's also not... Huh. Well, that's not a good idea. Uh, can I... No, I can't use that. Okay, let's see how my Stukas do in terms of inflicting damage. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Hmm. I know what to do. I have to think very hard about a situation like this. It is not trivial to deal with. Alright, I mean, I know what I have to do, but I don't like it. I'll kill off the tank cat. And I want to prevent those two units from moving or resupplying too much. There's really only one way to do it. Which is to park units over them. And then I want to do this. So all my units are covered by artillery. Do this, resupply that, shift some more troops into potential position, and I should be fine. Man, that thing just refuses to die. You know what? There might be more Polish counterattacks. Good thing. Yeah, there are two cavalry that can counterattack me with. So, this is more units than I remembered. I knew this mission was actually pretty hard, but I didn't remember this many Polish units. AA gun up there. That's not a problem. Bad idea for the AI. It lost all its entrenchment, and now it will be extremely vulnerable to getting picked off. So, luck working out for me again. Did, like, the Polish infantry have a spot... No, that's a mounted infantry. That should have a spotting range of two. It just didn't see the artillery. That's why I didn't. Okay, I see. I see. Da -da -da. Hmm... Let's see, what's an efficient way of doing this? I actually want to try to pick off that unit from relative safety. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to do this.
I don't want to attack that troop train since I don't want to force it to retreat. Things are working out quite nicely, I have to say. At least down here they are. Da, da, da. Let's use a uh, Stuka. Sure, why not? Didn't die. That wasn't actually what I was hoping to accomplish. Rinse and repeat. If I take a lot of damage on that unit, that's fine. Don't really have much of a choice at any rate. Alright, the situation is pretty good. More counterattacks. Fun. Oh, he wants to attack my anti tank unit? I'm happy with that. It's probably because my mountain troop has two stars. That's why the Polish cavalry didn't dare attacking. Otherwise, I was sure it was going to do that. And it has better initiative. So these mountain troops, uh, despite being incredibly expensive, have good stats. Three initiative, three close defense. Uh, furthermore, in my mod, I changed the experience values, uh, the experience attack and experience defense, to 17 instead of 10 in the base game. So that means at two stars, I gain one bonus to attack and one bonus to close defense. Whereas in the base game, I would gain neither. I think at two stars, an infantry should have some sort of bonus. And I think, you know, these bonuses are quite, uh, they're, they're very helpful and they're realistic as opposed to being overpowered. <laughs> I do not like the anti-aircraft gun. Once I clear it out, I can start unleashing some serious havoc. Whoa. Those odds could actually be quite a bit better. Still, I feel like attacking. That should hopefully force the troop train to surrender. Nope. Three kills, one suppression. If I only did one more suppression, I would have been fine. The question is, how do you get three kills and one suppression without any of the dice rolls actually being suppression? The answer is that two kills equal one suppression, one additional suppression on completely inexperienced troops, which this troop train unit is. So that was a bit of bad luck on my part. Let's see. Let's defeat the last of the counterattacks. Oh, now 
that's good luck. Now it has five strength, and uh, and that's fine. No need to adjust anything just yet. There might be more Polish units that can actually counterattack. I don't remember. What's this? Three range artillery. They're both running very low on ammo. I don't like that is extremely ill-advised to move anti-tank units into close terrain without artillery covering. In fact, like, I can't do that. That's way too much of a risk. I could attack it, and it'll retreat, and I can kill it with the fighter. Sure, why not? Okay, it doesn't retreat. I am going to break my own rule and do this. So I just moved anti-tank unit into close terrain. Well... Mm, I actually want to resupply this. Let's take a look up here. Alright. Okay. Keep advancing, at least for now. I'm actually running a bit short on time here. Let's start dealing with that. I want to start reducing entrenchment. Huh. Polish tank. This is actually going to work out reasonably well for me. So those infantry aren't hope position passive. Still, despite the lack of artillery cover, I think those engagements ended pretty well for me. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I actually want to do this. Oh, poor little anti tank unit. It's taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. Uh, ta da. Yeah, I mean, no particular rush. I still have five turns. I do want to send something to interdict that tank. Well, I'll send it later. Let's see. Again. I have no real desire to rush ahead. I'm only bombarding to reduce entrenchment here. I'll need to resupply next turn. Ah, oh, da da. Let's. Ah, this is probably a mistake, but why not? Let's go for it. Oh, that's a mistake. All right. Ugh. Oz could be better, but whatever. All right, got lucky. Where do I need two ring artillery? Let's send this cavalry here to interdict any possible movement. We'll move this artillery over there. I want to start transferring the three range artillery to that region. Move 
here. Keep bombarding. Oh, that anti-aircraft gun moving to close to rain. That is a mistake. Uh, so the AI seems to be programmed to move its defensive units, actually all units, towards victory hexes. A gun would have been much better off staying clear. Hmm. Hey, yeah, I bought one unit to reinforce, but that's not a problem. Baglex calling some bombers. Units completely suppressed. Let's do this. Alright. I do need something to interdict. But it can wait a bit. So let me think. I'm gonna have to resupply anyway. Might as well be... No, but, but then the AI will buy additional defenders and I don't like that. So... I need attack now. Let's move this unit over. We'll keep this unit in the middle. That's the entrenchment three. You'll reset three next turn, but that's fine. That's the, oh boy. Let me think, one, two, three. Yeah, I better attack this turn since it's at least suppressed by two. So there, there is some favor. The odds are okay. Critically, if I don't attack this turn and that didn't really work out too well for me, I don't have artillery cover anyway. Uh, better do this. Mm -hmm. Let's transfer this unit up north. Yeah. Huh. I did not see that coming. Okay, my infantry took a lot of damage. This is why it's usually a bad idea to do something like that, advancing ahead blindly without cover, without protecting units, but I wanted to prevent respawns very, very desperately, and this was the best way of doing it. So, yeah. Didn't really have much of a choice. Let's capture that city back. Since I... We'll attack. Oh, huh. Well. I actually don't have a unit that can get there. Damn. Why, well, I will now. I should have bombarded attack that. Oh, well. You have plenty of time. Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? What's a good way of finishing off this tank yet? I think the best way to finish it off is like so. Oh wait, that's still at 7? That's too high. Unless I get lucky. 
Uh, but I desperately need units there to prevent respawns. So we're going to do this. I'm going to get as much of an attack bonus as I can. We're going to attack. That did not work out. Okay, this is actually a very dangerous position. Let's do this. Ugh. That's good. Alright, that's good. Uh boy. Let us hope the AIs run out of units. So my hope is simple. I hope that that Polish infantry in this corner does not attack my mountain troop in the open. In fact, even if it does, there's a high probability high probability I won't die. Let's hope instead the Polish infantry attacks my recon unit, even though it'll fight against a close defense. Uh, that's fine. Because I feel this recon unit has a better chance of surviving than my poor little mountain troops. Hmm. Ah, let's park it here. Beautiful. That worked out perfectly. Rugged defense. So this is an interesting fact that is not often known. Ambush or rugged defense of uh, of a unit in close terrain makes that unit fight with its ground defense. So normally the ground defense would be two for a recon unit in a city hex. But here, you see all these bonuses add up. Rugged defense chance of 15%. So clearly I got lucky here. And uh, effective defense of 11 versus effective attack of 1. I'm actually quite surprised the AI managed to kill one unit, but there was a 12% chance of that anyway. So now things are in a very good situation. Uh, and the reason why I moved recon unit into the city hex as opposed to leaving it in the forest was exactly that I knew I would get 3 entrenchment. And that ups the rugged defense chance slightly. Let's see, how should we do this? Uh, let's do it like this. So, how do you kill these things quickly? Well, actually, yeah. Surrenders. Even if it doesn't surrender, I got this. Everything is dying. Why did that Polish unit move on to the bridge anyway? Normally these units make for uh, make a beeline for the victory hexes, so I have no idea what that was doing. Uh, the, let's see. How do I kill this thing efficiently? Hmm. I actually don't have a good way of killing it efficiently. Best bet I have is actually like this. This is what we're going to do. You also don't want to get too close to that place. Modeling. There's a 
a very high strength gun that is a fort and it has three range so you don't want to get close to there at all or you'll get bombarded. Killing this infantry honestly is not important. Instead I need to start killing the uh, trains. I'm content to let that infantry sit there. Hmm, the AI is starting to buy you. Oh! Size of victory already. I must have killed enough troop trains. So, uh, the mission to get DV obviously is to capture all the victory hexes and kill a number of these trains. I forget how many, but apparently it's whatever the total number is minus three. And yeah, I pre yeah, there is the 15 strength fort. You don't want to get near there. Uh, and I don't really care about these remaining flags. Irrelevant. A strong point. More defenses. This is actually Warsaw. So, you know, there's no re good reason to attack any of these unless you're swimming prestige, which I am not sitting at 236 right now. So, thank you for watching.